We're starting outside the Melbourne Arms in the village of Melbourne, not far from York. I don't know what the path by the canal will be like. My all-terrain power chair should cope well, providing there are no major obstacles to get over. So far so good. The track leading to the canal is suitable for all types of wheelchair. Today is one of the hottest we've had this summer, apart from the 40 degrees we had to endure recently. We put plenty of sun cream on to prevent getting burnt. Our first glimpse of the canal is at the Melbourne Arm Basin. Canal boats moor up here, and on certain days there are boat trips taking foot passengers on the canal. Now we reach the actual canal. Turn left towards London, over 200 miles away, or right towards Pocklington. We're turning right, passing over the old swing bridge. Don't jump K. The path deteriorates at this point and is only suitable for all-terrain chairs like mine. Even so, it's very uneven, and it's similar to being in a tumble dryer. There's no shade to be had here so I think I'm going to fry. At this point we have to pass under Church Bridge. Kay asks if my life insurance is up to date. The canal closed in 1934 and was abandoned till 1971 when restoration work started. Today, this section is navigable again for a few miles. Unfortunately, at this time of year, the edge of the canal is quite overgrown, spoiling the view. Now we reach Thornton Lock, which has been fully restored. We pause for a while to take a closer look. Kay has spotted a lone swan taking advantage of the shade offered by the high walls of the narrow lock entrance. A bit further along we find a whole family of swans, including some cygnets. A beautiful sight. I decide to set off back now, leaving Kay to explore further up the canal. It's so hot I'm beginning to regret going so far. Now, this could be tricky. Good job I've got long arms. One final obstacle to get past. If I survive this there's a cold drink with my name on it waiting at the Melbourne Arms. Phew! Just the last section to do now. 
Kays rejoined me, and we head to the pub to cool off. That's it from me this time. Take care, and I hope to see you again next time.